This was just an all-time, all-time horrendous coaching job. John Calipari is awful. First of all, this is where your help should be. Back to the baseline. That's where the dribble gets picked up. But that's coaching. So the dribble, now, but what is this Kentucky player doing? You're not helping. You're not a part of anything. Why are you not out in the corner? And the dribble's picked up. Why were you standing there? Just laziness defensively. Stop. What? Right there. Up the line. Level to my man on the wing. In a defensive stance with my feet set, seeing ball, seeing man. Then flying when the pass gets made. Look at this. Walking, walking, walking. Not, e not even sort of ready to guard right now. Not even sort of. Off balance. One little jab step will have you flying backwards now. Poof. Two. Oakland. Kid for Oakland hit about 100 threes. So here's a cross screen. You got to jam him as he comes through if you're guarding the screener here. You don't. How about this second cross screen? Could we jam him now as he comes through to knock him off a spot so the defender has some time to get through these screens? No. Wide open. Over and over and over and over. Stagger screen. First of all, it's supposed to be over, under. But the main problem, and this is where Calipari's awful. This kid's about to hit 100 threes. I must be connected to the screener with my arms extended so he can't curl. You're nowhere. Calipari's a disgrace. Do you know where your double is? Don't you work on this preparing for this game. Vsic is in the middle of the floor. That's where we want to force Trey Townsend right here. Now, this guard should be rotating down, seeing ball and man to possibly get a post dig out of this. But your help's in the middle of the floor. Force Trey Townsend to the middle of the floor. Why are you overplaying and letting him go baseline? Did you work on this? Cannot talk and think about switches. Cannot do it. Especially with this player for Oakland who hits 100 threes. You go into a game. Every time those two are a part of a screen, it's a switch. No talking, no thinking. See, look at this. You're trying to communicate a switch in the middle of the play. Not ready to switch. Another open three. Same exact thing. They just keep running them off screens. I would too. Kentucky doesn't guard them. They don't guard them. Get attached to the screener. Oh my... Arms extended so he can't curl. This is basic. Basic. You're nowhere again. Curl, open three, upset. Nope. Eh, eh. Not how you guard. Underneath your man, jamming him, battling for position. You're guarding from over the top. So now when they again run this same player off a down screen, you're not able to chase off of his hip right here. I should be locked onto his hip and trailing over the top. And again, get attached with your arms extended so he can't curl. That doesn't happen. Everything's wrong. How is Jan Calipari allowed to coach? Another cross screen. Kentucky clearly doesn't go over this. Clearly. Cross screen right here. I must jam Trey Townsend if I'm guarding the screener so that the Kentucky player guarding Townsend can get on the other side. You must jam him as he comes through the cross screen. You don't touch him. You don't touch him. He's catching this underneath the block. Two. Upset. So Kentucky's switching this screen. What is Reed Shepard doing? It's a switch. Stay with your man. Where are you going? Where? Open again. <clears throat> Rob Dillingham. John Calipari is absolutely atrocious. Get your attached to your man as you jam the player coming through the cross screen. Attached to your man. I'm always attached, but I'm still going to jam him as he comes through. When you become unattached like this, pff, flare to the three-point line. Wide open again. Watch just how many mistakes Kentucky makes on one singular play. Another down screen. Should be attached with their arms extended so he can't curl. Nope, that's why there's four steps of separation. How about this down screen? Probably should switch, right? Nope, do nothing. How about on this handoff? We certainly want to get up, right? We can hedge. We don't want to give up an open three. Same guy that said about 50. No place for the big for Oakland to roll to. Nope, play off, give up open three, Calipar. You do not guard like this ever. I'm at the top of the key. There is, I'm seeing ball, pointers out. My feet are set, I'm in the gaps. When this ball handler comes this way, I'm going to stunt with my feet set and recover back out. You're not giving up open threes. You guarding past the three-point line is a complete waste of time. Look at all this space this player has to go.
Why? That's where you should be right there. Right? Dribble picked up. I can easily recover with my feet set. John Calipari is miserable. First of all, Reeves, again, back not to ball, back to sidelines. I'm in the gaps. The main problem, what are we doing over here? Get up. I'm still going to be able to help on the ball. There's no reason to be in the charge circle. Wait, was this the plan out of halftime? It's really sad to watch. It's really sad to not be able to help. Another cross screen. They're running the same player off it. J you have to jam him as he comes through so that Reeves can get on the other side. Look at the space you create because of this. Now here comes a down screen. Could we get attached and get our arms extended so we can't curl? Or are we just going to have shoot around for this Oakland player that's hit about 100 threes? It's a flare screen. Don't lean towards the screen early. It's the same player for Oakland, right? I know the flare screen coming, so I'm up, right? I want to make sure I'm over the top of the screen, but I'm not going to look at you leaning towards it early. Leaning early, beat you the other way. Splash. Kentucky is so, so poorly coached. Your help is in the middle of the floor. So I've got to keep him to the middle of the floor. There I can help and recover. If I let him go baseline, and boy, you're overplaying to where your help is, now the double's got to come from the low angle, and there's no recovering from that. First of all, the one-on-one -on -one defense here is awful. Could we get into the defensive stance, palms of our feet, ready to slide? But here's where Calipari's terribleness comes in. I am not guarding at half court. There... If my feet are set and I'm at the top of the key, now I'm in the gaps. I can easily get dribble picked up by stunting and recovering. You're just guarding at half court. There's too, there's too much space. This is completely pointless. Stop. Right there. Right there. Stunt. This is the shell drill in a game. You got your back to the ball. Easy. All right, Kentucky gets a great post dig right there. Great dig, recover. So what is Rob Dillingham doing? You're not rotating. It's just dig, recover. You go over this, right? Like, what? stay home. Where's Dillingham going? This is that Oakland player again. He's hit 53s. Oh, my. We're not gambling. No. Just go. Look at this. It's coaching. No. Wide open. Again. John Calipari is a human pile of waste. The help all game long has come from the middle of the floor. Stop three quarters in the post. Just get underneath and battle. You got a double coming. So, pff, all right, now you got to get back underneath. You got to keep him to the middle of the floor. Battle for, that's where your double's coming from. But look at this. Again, is this like a parody? You're overplaying the middle of the floor where the help is. Spin off you, too. Yep, this is coaching right here. This is guard. This is why John Calipari should not be allowed to coach basketball. Rob Dillingham, you're playing the gaps. I got to be in a defensive stance with my feet set so I can stunt at the ball but then recover. That's just coaching right here. Kentucky clearly doesn't go over this. Look at Rob Dillingham's feet. Going towards the ball on the kickout. Open three. Good night. Go home.